and welcome to another video. So today what I'm going to do is be breaking down the key concepts and contexts for each of the different artists that you may get to uh, study for component two of your GCSE. I'm going to start off with Taylor Swift and Bruno Mars because they're the uh, artists that I teach myself and that I'm more familiar with, but I will be doing all of the artists that are possible for study under component two. We're looking not only at the video for each of these artists, but also looking at them as a whole. So bear that in mind as we go through these videos. Starting off with Taylor Swift then, in terms of the media language, obviously this is applicable predominantly to the video for Bad Blood. I have done a case study for Bad Blood where I go through it frame, frame by frame, so if you haven't seen that already, do check that out in the music video playlist. Basically, in terms of our media language, Taylor Swift is both feminine and sexualized, so there's a lot of contrasting imagery and contrasting language here within the video itself. She also comes across as what I've considered to be sort of faux aggressive or, or um, what I mean by this is that she's aggressive in the, the language that she uses, the lyrics that she uses, the sort of imagery and iconography, but it goes so over the top that it doesn't seem as effective anymore and it's also to do supposedly with an argument between her and another celebrity so it's hard for it to be that aggressive. There's also a lot of celebrity endorsement and synergy between Swift not only with the other artists who are on the track but also with the celebrities who feature in the video as a whole. Now in terms of the industry that Taylor Swift is in, she's had huge issues with music ownership which I've gone through in a previous video She's also grown up within the industry. I believe she started off uh, within the industry at sort of age 14 or 15, um, but we didn't actually see her on the scene until she was sort of 16, 17, 18. She's had several high profile arguments, both with Kanye West and Katy Perry, who Bad Blood is supposedly about, but she now uses her audience to pursue wider issues such as support for political politics and different movements. Obviously having that large fan base means that she can get a message across very, very quickly and also can try and um, gain support and change through her message and through the audience that she targets. Speaking of audience, the primary demographic here are 16 to 30 year old women, C1 to D, who are mainstreamers and aspirers, and the secondary audience would be 30 to 50 year old women, B to D, and mainstreamers. Interestingly, I think that Taylor Swift's audience has changed over time, and that if we were looking at Taylor Swift back when she started on the music scene, her audience would actually be far younger than it is now, but I think a lot of the topics that she covers not only within her music herself, but also outside of that, appeal to an older audience rather than one who are younger. We do have to bear in mind though that because the lower end of that primary audience are less likely to have their own disposable income, the secondary audience are more likely to be parents who are footing the bill for all of the merchandise and um, all of the marketing that is successful on the primary audience. Now in terms of representation, Taylor Swift is very sexualized within the Bad Blood video and also following that. She's also presented as this sort of femme fatale or dangerous character, but alongside that is shown as being very powerful and almost very um, feminist in the way that she presents not only herself but her other um, friends within the video. We could also argue that although she's been sexualized, she is also very feminine, but she comes across as somebody who is known to hold a grudge, who writes about her personal life, so you have this more personal connection to her music, and also she's shown as being more personal with her audience through social media. Now in terms of the social context for this video, within the video itself, Swift and her friends are obviously all sexualized through the dress codes and camera shots, which is something that we would expect of the genre and the time that this is being produced. But the rep representation sort of subverts and conforms to this stereotypical representation of femininity. On the one hand, they are dressed very feminine and they are um, sort of powerful women, but on the other hand, they are you know, sort of conforming to this idea that sex sells and that in order to be a successful woman you have to sell your your body and your image. Culturally, many of Swift's friends are also westernised throughout the video, so Zendaya is represented as a direct copy of Swift down to even the, the parting of the hair um, 
in the video, whereas Soraya is the only person who is represented with her natural hair and almost shown to be sort of subverting this Taylor Swift mould within the video. Now Taylor Swift as well is placed within the R&B genre by including Kendrick Lamar in the radio edit of the track and if you're not sure what I mean by the radio edit it would be useful to look at the feature tracks uh, video that I released last week. Historically Taylor Swift has always been known as this girl next door and came from sort of country roots before moving into the pop genre so Blood, Bad Blood is a sort of starting point in the way that she represents herself as being edgy and came in the album before Reputation which is also analysed on the channel but is also where she sort of um, throws off this idea of being this sort of American sweetheart. Supposedly, as we said, the video is uh, based on a long-running feud between Swift and Katy Perry. Politically, Swift has become far more outspoken. She openly disapproves of Donald Trump, particularly his views on LGBTQ plus rights, although this video itself wasn't produced during Trump's reign. So reign era <laughs> he's not he's not a monarch thankfully um so he uh this this is something that has progressed from this video or you could argue has progressed from this video hopefully you found that useful there are a few key terms here not too many but make sure that you understand them all and maybe make note cards or a little glossary of the ones that you don't understand if you haven't already do please subscribe hit the button below so that you not only get notified of the videos that i'm making over the summer break but also so that you can help me get to a thousand subscribers and i'm able to use that community tab to stay in touch with all of you and it makes it far more easy and it is something you guys have said you would like me to use if you haven't already you can also follow me on social media at media underscore revision on twitter or gcse media revision on instagram or you can get in touch with me through popping a comment in the comment section below i do read through every single comment that's put on uh, the page so do let me know um, if you have any comments questions ideas suggestions anything at all and i will see you guys later for another video